ain't heavy. He's my brother. Good day everyone, this is John Bot, Homer's Prime Reviews, wishing you all the very best. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and please click the notification bell for latest content. And also feel free to join the Facebook and TikTok Hobmas Prime Reviews. So this is my final review of my Black Series Bad Batch playlist. And, well, the Black Series figure. I've, I'm going to just do a Black Series playlist, but these are the last ones of my Bad Batch that I've got so far. And I got these two guys. No weapons, no accessories, 20 quid off of eBay. But then I noticed after I got them that the seller conveniently was selling all the accessories for extra, and I thought, you robbing git. But never mind. As you can see, it does have a gun, which if you've seen my Hunter, uh, my Wrecker review, this was the gun that came, I brought from a kit, and I painted it. And I, that gun that Hunter has was actually Wrecker's a stock gun, but I gave him the bigger one because I thought it and felt it fitted him better. So let's just get into it. So, as you can see, this is Hunter, and he's got his birthmark sort of paint on his face, tattoo going on in his face, I think it's a tattoo, and he looks awesome, he's got his bandana like Rambo. He does have, I mean, I don't know if it was meant to have that, because obviously this is used, it's not brand new, but he, do, he is missing his backpack. Didn't come with his gun or his knife, which I'm annoyed at, but I was hoping the third party kit I bought came with his knife but it didn't and the backpack didn't have a peg so that was slightly annoying but he is a good figure he does have an ab crunch head again awesome articulation on a wiggly waggly ball joint arm all the way out to the side 90 degrees at the elbow full spin butterfly he doesn't have a butterfly joint like his brothers but he does have wrist rotation and a pivot and he can almost do the Ford Van Damme and he can kick his legs out like that and his legs can go like that like he's running like he's power sliding in to save Omega but the paintwork on him I mean obviously I don't know what it was like brand new but it looks pretty good the artwork on him is fine the head sculpt is amazing and as I say I've gave him Wrecker's gun because Wrecker has the aftermarket gun which I thought was bigger and it suited him better so there he is so he's got his detail on his shoulders and the skull it looks very good and it oh by the way it does have ankle pivot and fire rotation i don't know if i would have said that but yeah but that's hunter and he looks pretty sweet so sorry bz as you can see this is the crosshairs that came and one thing i don't like is when you put that up straight you get his leg straight for position his kneecap of his armor goes around there but i suppose that's what would happen with the armor but again, same articulation, so I'm not going to really go into that much because I don't want to drag the review on for you because I don't want you to get bored. So, again, similar paintwork looks very good. The head sculpt is very good. Good soldiers follow orders. He looks very good. He's got his light like, shotgun clip there. Like I say, he's missing his gun, he's missing a backpack didn't come with it I mean I did get a third party kit as I've shown in a previous review and I painted it it's not fully painted yet but this was for Hunter but I suppose you could put it on uh, they do do one for crosshairs a kit but you know it's a good figure he has all the detailing on his shoulder like that I mean you could hold him and like I say there's my aftermarket third party helmet you can make him stand there and hold his helmet. No pun intended. Same with Hunter. But yeah, still need finishing painting, but they look good. And that's them too. And then we have a close-up of BZ. This is a 3D printed kit that I got. The head does rotate, but it's loose as anything. Does need painting. Elbows need proper pins put in them, because they only give you temporary pins to get it to you. Which I didn't know, but I'm going to sort. But it is a nice little thing. It is nice. I mean, I had to glue this elbow to stop it moving because it would drive me insane. And I probably will have to do this arm because that is doing my head in. But he does have wrist rotation as well. And it's a nice little 3D printed figure. I had to glue that on the back. It didn't tell you that. But they are good. They are good. And comparison, again, there's tech. Let's see if we can get Hunter to stand his ground this time. Little Omega. 
don't want to knock them over because it doesn't look very professional for a reviewer. And then you've got Echo. You know, like them. I'll put Ruby in there as well. But there you go. That is the full Bad Batch. And I'm going to go straight to my final thoughts now. Amazing figures, the same as the rest of the assortment. Very good. I do like the third party kit, but it does need work. But it needs some paint and it'll look amazing. So please take care. Thanks for watching. This is John Bot saying, to all toy lovers of one. Scooby Doo ending. <laughs>